Hurricane Irma is wreaking havoc in the Caribbean, destroying buildings and causing several deaths and serious flooding on small islands in its path. On the French territory of Saint-Martin, at least six people have been killed and much of the island flattened. Emergency efforts are being hampered by difficult access and communications. French President Emmanuel Macron offered words of support. We stand side by side with those who, in our own country, a few thousand kilometers from here, are destitute, have lost everything, sometimes loved ones, and that we stand with their families who, on mainland France, as elsewhere, are living in fear. The whole country stands with them, and all public services are being mobilized to come to their aid. The most powerful storm in a decade, with at times wind speeds of 295 kilometers per hour, Irma has howled past Puerto Rico, drenching it as it heads north of the Dominican Republic. In Florida, residents on the coast are preparing for tidal surges of three to four meters. Meanwhile, the authorities have issued evacuation orders. We are being very aggressive in our preparation for this storm, and every Floridian should take this seriously and be aggressive to protect their family. Possessions can be replaced. Your family cannot. President Donald Trump said his administration is monitoring the storm as it approaches the U.S. Irma is likely to make landfall in Florida over the weekend.